Today we are going on our family holiday to Centre Park, Sherwood Forest. Um, we can't wait, so I've packed everything, pretty much everything in the house. So we've got all the baby stuff, all the dog stuff. The dogs obviously come in this time, which is nice. Um, and yeah, so we're going to see what it's like with a baby and a dog. So we've had to, with COVID still um, looming upon us, even though we're kind of restrictions are now out of the window, Centre Park still have some restrictions in place. So you still have to book your swimming slots um, in the daytime. You still have to book like pretty much all your activities in advance. You can also book them, I believe, at the guest services when you get there as well. Um, but we've kind of done everything um, before we, we arrive. It sounds like it's gonna be pretty normal holiday. Being able to take Francesca swimming and booking some activities. So I'm gonna be doing the zip line with my sister-in-law, uh, things like that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to take you along with us. But this is our itinerary that we have booked at the minute. Um, so I've just blocked out the participants of who's doing what, but um, this is what it's looking like. So we've got the aerial adventure, that's with the zip line. You've got quad bikes, swimming, electric boats, uh, badminton, uh, swimming again, sensory play for Francesca, which we're really looking forward to, uh, off-road explorers. So yeah, we've got an action-packed um, week and we've also booked bikes. So because obviously we've got Francesca and Leia, we're unable to all have bikes. Um, they do have baby trailers at the back of your bikes that Francesca is old enough to go into. However, obviously with Leia, our dog, we're unable to obviously all go on a bike. There's always going to be two of us without a bike so we can walk together with the pram and, and nice. Leia. So, uh... Hello! Is that is? Where are we? Are we on holiday? Are we on holiday? That's our cabin there, look. Can you see? That's our cabin. Ooh. So yes, we've just arrived and we're just walking to get some lunch somewhere. So me and Jordan were supposed to be having our honeymoon here. You can see that little log cabin across the lake. That's where we should have been staying. That's the honeymoon suite. That's the zip line that we're gonna do, isn't it? Yeah. It only took us five minutes to walk here from our cabin. So yeah, literally nothing at all. So you can hire boats, pedalos, electric boats. Hmm. <gasps> Where are we? Are we on holiday? Are we on holiday? <laughs> uh, this is like a conference facility so businesses can hire that. You've got Pancake House which is just over the lake which I think is where we're heading. There's a swimming dome. You've got pony rides here, a little park. <gasps> Say hello! <laughs> Say hi! That's a nice little adventure park. You've got uh, mini golf over here. We did that last year, it was brilliant. That was really good. And then you've got the zip line. <laughs> and adventure trail, just above the trees you can see there. And this is where you get all your boats from. Just heading on to the beach.
Look at this bad boy. Chocolate pancake, flake, Maltesers, ice cream, chocolate ice cream. The whole works. Which is open pretty much eight till nine every day. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Say hi! Lay a loving life. Leisure bowl. Have a quick look. No doggies allowed in there, Lele. No doggies allowed in there. They've also got a sweet shop. This is mine and Jordan's favourite. It's open every day. It's like tradition to go and get a pick a mix when we're here. So I'll show you what they got. We've got the living room here with the little dining room, it's all full of our stuff. We've got a lovely living room, kitchen. You've got a room here. Yeah, that's our room. <laughs> that's a twin room. You've got a lovely bath that's your room. room. That's your room and You've got a twin room in here. And you've got a double room in here. You're probably not. So we're on our way to swimming. Um, they've just been to get their cycles and I am walking Francesca Aren't we? We're walking to swimming aren't we? Have they all got their bike? So as you park up your bike You can walk down and you've got a Starbucks uh, Which is nice you can bring dogs to this area here. It's just next to the treats Sweet shop, which is what we showed you earlier next to the supermarket I think I've managed to find a path which leads to Jordan and everyone. So we've just come out of swimming with Francesca, you can probably hear her um, cry. We're sat in the cafe waiting for Bella Italia and you can just about see the pool from our view as we're waiting for our food. And you can also see they've got a little play area as well here in here. This is the leisure bowl area. Which they have like bowling and a bar. So yeah, we're just sat in here at the minute waiting for our Bella Italia order after a lovely little swim. So yeah, so I'm just walking back to our cabin. The only downfall of obviously having um, a baby and a dog is we've decided to only pick one bike between two of us, um, which means that obviously one of us has got to walk back with a pram. And I said that I'd rather walk by myself, so Jordan's going to pick up the pizza from Bella Italia and meet me along the way. Um, but you feel really safe, it's all lit up, there's staff members walking around everywhere as well, so you always feel safe. So 
yes, nice little stroll in the dark. Morning! Say hi! Um, we've woke up today after a lovely sleep. Um, the beds are so comfy here in the lodges. Um, but yes, we woke up this morning and today is a day that we'll be going on our aerial extreme adventure, aerial adventure I think it's called. Um, so that's like an activity in the trees, it's like ropes, bridges, things like that, um, that we're going to go through, a bit like Go Ape, and then it ends on a zip line. So me and my sister-in-law are going to be doing that today, uh, which we're really excited for. It's something that we've, we've had booked for quite a while now. Um, and then the kids are off on a quad bike adventure and then we're going to be in the pool swimming. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to all, all of today. Um, I'm not sure how much we can record. I think with the aerial adventure you're supposed to have like a GoPro um, that's attached to you, um, either on your helmet or your chest. Um, but unfortunately we've, <laughs> we've forgot the GoPro and we don't have a chest um, harness. So we're unable to film on that, I believe. Um, but I'm going to see if Jordan can get some footage from down on the ground um, of me up in the trees and coming down the zip line. Giving them a little tutorial first before they're uh, allowed to go and do the full track. I'll do like a walk round first. Excellent. This is good. So what they do is they make you go and break and then basically make you do a tight loop around this like little circle of trees here just to see if you're okay steering and then they'll come back and they'll do a big loop these staff have been absolutely brilliant perfect nice and quick well done so carry on following me now Francesca do you want to go quad biking? Do you? <laughs> You're like your cousins. Got Segway experiences as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Here they go on their full lap. Woohoo! How was it? 
cool activity centre. So where it is, is that's where the kids were doing their quad biking. So we just walked up this hill and then you come to the outdoor activity centre here. There's a little map. There's quite a lot to do. Jordan with Leia. Laser combat, a Segway experience. Do you not fancy any of it, Jord? I don't mind the paintballing, <laughs> isn't it? Is that the paintballing in there? Yeah, you can just about see it. Cool yeah, that looks pretty cool. Looks very good. Off-road experience, that's what June and Alana did last year, wasn't it? <laughs> Thought you'd get that in. Morning. We're currently walking to the electric boat today, which the kids and Jordan's mum and dad are going on. Looking forward to that. Have a nice morning stroll. At the pancake house. How much was that? 725. 725, yeah. American style chocolate. <laughs> Lavish. <laughs> Traditional lemon. <laughs> James squeezing the lemons. <laughs> Come to see us. <laughs> How is it, George? Yeah, it's good. Very nice. Nice? Nice and soft. A bit of, a bit of weight on there. Oh, yummy. Going for a walk around the village. Bridge. Got the supermarket there. And then you've got these couple of shops down here. So you've got Just Kids and the storeroom, which you can get some gifts in there. Let's go and have a quick look. Hi, okay. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna go straight to Sting. And hey Doug, hey Dougie! <gasps> Got loads of Disney stuff. There goes. The start of interest, how much they are. Oh, these are in the sale. Oh, that's that one. They are twenty pounds. Ooh, more bubbles. Can't go around with bubbles. How much are these? They are three pound fifty. How much are they? Jordan's in his element. One with a green. A little legs. Oh, mate. It's one of them meditating as well. So buy them all. Buy them all, yeah. Oh, wow. £10 each. Oh, gosh, they've got the Millennium Falcon. Let's see how much this is. Yeah. It is £139.99. Ooh. We're in the storeroom. Aren't we, dude? Yeah. Yeah. They're in the storeroom. Jude's with me. It's more, more of an adult shop, but yes, Jude's pointed out they do bath bombs. They do gifts. Look, quite a lot of gifts. They do some teddy bears. Oh, they got baby stuff. Oh, wow, look at these. We could get one of these for Francesca's room, Jude. These look. Well, that's what Alana's got, hasn't she? Yeah, she's got. These are two pound fifty each. I've also picked up a lead for color for Leia, and that is fifteen ninety five. Quite a smart one. I'll put that there. 
We've got a sale section. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got to point this out. They've got a Disney collection here. 101 Dalmatians, Bambi, Olaf, the genie. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Francesca, you've got one of these. They are $24.99. They're lovely. Got some really lovely bits in this. So if you're heading this way, definitely call in. Just now heading to the Jardin de Sport, which is where the Fireside football is taking place, which is what Jordan and his family are going to be doing. I'm going to be sitting down with Francesca and Leia. Um, but you come near the guest services area and it's just, if you're walking from the main attractions, it's on the right hand side. Have you come through Starbucks? You've got a good viewing area. You've got the climbing wall. You can see the background. Badminton, tennis. And further back over there, you've got like activity classes like boogie bounce and then other things in there. So if you've got a dog, you need to come to the side of Jordan de Sports, you can't actually go through Jordan de Sports um, so you come down this side here where you see the park um, and you can bring your dog in the seating area which is outside um, just past here so you come past the park and then you've got a seating area out here for dogs which I believe Jordan sat there They've hired a fireside football court. If you walk back down this path, that's where the Jordan de Centre is. The village square. Jordan de Sport, sorry. And if you come up the hill towards the spa, you've got this football court that we've just hired. So me and Francesca are sat at the side watching these. She's waking up. So she's now watching football. You can also park your bike, so people have been parking their bikes by the looks of it near Jordan de Sport, but there's actually bike rails right near the football court, so if you hire the five-a-side football, just um, remember that you can actually park, park your bikes here, and also there's, there's um, a lot of benches, bins, benches just behind the net here, and then there's also benches where I'm sat at the side of the court, so yeah, it's... Uh, definitely nice for the family it's something that all the family can do which is nice so after we've done the five-a-side football we are going to badminton so dave <laughs> hillary's just scored she's buzzing um so dave hillary james and holly are going to badminton and we're gonna watch the kids there's like a park just near there near the court so um me and george francesca leia and the kids are going to be uh, on the park and yeah there's, there's like a, a, a park for children and then there's a park for babies as well so we're going to take Francesca on her first little park um, which is going to be nice had a good day we have had five side football we have had badminton and we have just had a barbecue as well which I didn't film because I was just stuffing my face full of barbecue food um, but we are currently walking to the country club um, which I'm not sure how long it's gonna take so it's like 20 to 7 now so I'm gonna time and see how long it takes to get there from where we are we're um, right near all the main areas like the village probably a five minute walk from there so we'll be able to kind of time 
how far it is to get to the other side of the park. We got here, country club. It took us 10 minutes to walk here. It looks like there's some like tennis courts around here as well. Um, I think the tennis courts anyway, from what it sees, all the trees are lit up. Jordan's living life. <laughs> There's like a kids maze, or I suppose any maze, just at the side, uh, just in front of the, the country club. I think this is a Forester's Inn, am I right? Yeah. The Forester's Inn. This, uh, this is where uh, dogs are welcome as well, so dogs can actually go inside this venue, um, which is good because there's not many of those. It's literally this place, the Starbucks in the village, and um, most of the places, yeah, they're allowed outside. So it's a great place to come if you've got a dog and it's a bit chilly outside because they can go indoors. Oh, it's a pretty venue as well. We've also got a kids' play area here as well, and they're right next to a nature um, trail that you can go around, which I'm sure we're going to probably do Thursday. Uh, it looks like here they've got like a mini golf or putting area. Uh, well, yeah, the forest is in. So we've decided that we're not going to actually go for a drink this evening. We're actually going to go and do a tour around the whole park. Um, but yeah, from where we stayed near the village, it's only a 10 minute walk to this side of the, the park. Probably going to go past the tree houses and the um, other luxury um, accommodation. They've got like saunas and hot tubs. So I might be able to show you a couple of them. Not obviously indoors, but... So there's a, an estate here, which me and Jordan was just saying that um, they look beautiful. Like really nice new um, chalets that they have. However, as you can see, they're not really surrounded by many trees. They're more kind of in like their own little estate. So what we were saying is we personally wouldn't like to stay in one of the new ones here with the saunas just because... If you look around, it just feels like you're at, basically at home again, like an estate rather than in the middle of a woods. You've got the trees on the outside, but you know if you've got one of the middle ones, it, it just doesn't it just takes away the magic really. So we've just yeah. come down to the road where the tree houses are. Oh, toad! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, getting creeped out by toads. And honestly, just wow, 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 wow! Like these are insane. So you've got hazelnut. So apparently these come with like a games room. Um, they come with saunas, hot tubs. God, they come with... Oh, I need to check properly, which I will online. But these are absolutely huge. Um, when we looked at the cost for one, um, which I think was for this week, I looked online. They did have one available. And um, it was like 2400 or something for Monday to Friday so yes very very expensive but my god is it worth the money there's a games room so you can't really see it because we're in the dark but you've basically got the, the house a bridge that goes across and then you've got a games room that like is attached to the house stunning and also what is the same with the exclusive lodgers is you actually get to park you don't have to keep moving your car back and forth from the um the car park you actually get your own parking slots which are right near the accommodation so i suppose in a way it's worth paying that little bit extra for the exclusive lodgers just because of the fact that you get your own parking slots so i decided to walk back to the country club forest is in it closed at 10 p.m and it's eight o'clock now so we're gonna head to the forest is in for a nice hot chocolate where are we heading Francesca, are we going to baby sensory class? Are we going to baby sensory class at Jordan de Sport? Are we? Oh, <laughs> this is fun. And it's a lovely, glorious morning. We're on our fourth day now. Had a great night of sleep again. That's the good thing about Centre Parks is because your days are so action-packed, you're uh, shattered at night. 
and you end up going to sleep at 10. A nice little family morning walk to our first class of the day. After this, Jordan's got his quad biking experience. Um, so I showed you the track the other day. Uh, not the kids one, obviously. It's like a full-blown adult one. Um, I think it's much, much bigger than the, the kids one. So I don't know, <laughs> yeah, as Jordan said, he should hope so. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on how much um, time they get. How many, uh, is it 45 minutes, George? 45, 45 minutes. We're here. <laughs> Someone's excited. <laughs> Big smiles. Right, where do we go? <laughs> sensory haven't we it's a bit blurry because I'm uh, walking but we've just finished the baby sensory and it was brilliant so you've probably just seen some of that there's a lot of lights there was a lot of things that she could hold on to but yes yeah, so we're on our way to see her daddy who is on his quad bike at nine o'clock so we might just miss the first bit of it um, but we're heading over there now We've got like a little souvenir to take away from Baby Sensory with Francesca's footprints on it. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. Nice bonding um, activity for the parents. There's only one parent allowed in there. Um, but yeah, it's worth it. Definitely worth it, I loved it. Fantastic. Is it? Oh, I never enjoyed myself as much when my Well it looked it looked a bit slow at first though, was it not? Well I was at, I was at, me personally I was at speeds of twenty five miles an hour. Oh. Yeah. How was it then? Yeah it's really good. Yeah. Um, it's quite a big track. Goes all the way to the top, big hill, a few bumps up there. Yeah. Um, first half of the session you just get like a bit of a training exercise so you can suss out who's good and who's not. Yeah. The second half, you get to razz it round. So, ah. all in all, good experience. Do you yeah. think it was worth the money though? Because it's like for, about forty pound, isn't it? I think so. It's expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth the money. It's worth beating dad anyway. What would you give it out of five? Twenty. <laughs> I'd probably give it a four. <laughs> Amazing to me. Four. Dave said four. five. Four's very, very good. No, Dave said five. Five should only be left for things that's like zero improvement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who'd have thought we'd be all sat on the beach in March? I thought I'd give you a quick tour because it's the last day of the basic lodge. So you've got a little storage room here. When you first come in the door, you've got a toilet here where you hang your coats 
You then come into a reception area here. So it's going to be a bit of a mess because obviously we're, uh, we've been in it all week. But you've got the large the dining area here. You get um, obviously a high chair. So it's a kind of joint room. So you've got a dining room, this living room, a log burner with a TV, a barbecue outside and a patio. Then go back this way. Get a little welcome message when you get here. Like I say, the beds are going to be a bit mucky because we've slept in these now. And we're just heading out. Hi. So this is one of the rooms. You've got a bathroom here. For those that are staying here, you've got an extractor fan. You have to press this button here to turn the extractor fan on. Um, because we had to work that out. It took like a couple of days. And But you've got a nice bath and shower. You've got another room in here. All rooms come with a hair dryer, a stall like a vanity area and you get plenty of wardrobe space and then a kitchen you've got a fridge you get tea bags coffee sugar things like that and then the main room is here again you get a vanity in the main room you get a tv and a big lovely wardrobe so yeah <clears throat> it's been absolutely brilliant loved every minute of it and uh yeah we're now heading to go and get drink and food at the sports bar. So, so before we go to the sports bar, we're just heading to uh, there's like a dog area, exercise area, to let Leia have a bit of a run around. There's supposed to be a couple dotted around the park, but there's not. Um, this seems to be like the only one we've found, and it's near the Jordan de Sports. See, little dog exercise area. There's Jordan de Sports, and it's just here. It's literally like a big open area that Leia can have a good run around off a lead. Just got to make sure you close it and then she can roam around. It'd be crazy. time slot unless you come in the evening um, which is after 6 p.m. Um, so we've booked the 11.30 till 2.30 slot time slot today um, you get a little wristband which Jordan's got um, and what they do is basically inside the pool there you go um, inside the pool they'll basically tell you when it's your time up and you have to go out and obviously then it changes so we're heading swimming on our last day today and hopefully gonna have a great time hopefully it's not gonna to be too busy we've not been during a booked slot yet properly um, so it's interesting to see um, how busy it's gonna be on a day that people are coming to check in and people are leaving so you get these lockers and basically what you have to do is you tap your wristband onto here and it basically opens and closes that so you don't have to bring any money it's all cashless
to parks. It's been an absolutely amazing experience and time and uh, it's been good spending some quality time together. As you can see with him on his phone, but hey. <laughs> no, it's not, it's been really good. Um, but yes, I've enjoyed it thoroughly and I can't wait to book Jordan's 30th next year, which we've just discussed. So yeah, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.